This video I'm going to help you solve uh, the tank volumes problems that we have on uh, worksheet 2C. So I'm taking the first rectangular tank and um, I want you to assume that the dimensions that have been provided are in inches. So this is 24 inches by 56 by 96 or uh, if you want to convert everything to decimal feet this would be 2 feet by uh, 4.667 feet because that would be 4 feet 8 inches uh, by 8 feet um, and then we would go directly to cubic feet. I will do those equations both ways over here. On um, the first one uh, I will write out the way that we get our volume of the tank in cubic inches and can convert to cubic feet. Alright so here's how we write out the equation 24 inches times 56 inches times 96 inches equals 129,024 inches cubed. So let's just verify that. 24 times 56 times 96, 129,024 inches cubed. Now if I want to convert that from inches cubed to inch, uh, cubic feet, if we uh, know that one foot is equal to 12 inches, then one foot squared or a square foot is equal to 12 squared or 144 inches. Uh, one foot cubed is equal to 12 cubed or uh, 1,728 uh, inches cubed. This is our equivalent to a square foot and a cubic foot. Uh, so if I wanted to convert something from square inches into cubic, uh, square inches into uh, square feet, then I would divide whatever I have in square inches by 144. If I wanted to convert something to cubic inches, from cubic inches to cubic feet, I would divide that number one, by 1,728 to get my answer. So here's my final answer for cubic feet would be 1,000 to uh, 100, excuse me, 129,024 inches cubed divided by 1728 inches cubed per cubic foot is 74.667 feet cubed. Now another way we could have done this is to convert ahead of time. We could have taken the numbers that we had, 24 inches and converted it to 2 feet, or 56 inches and 56 inches and convert it, divided by 12 to convert it to 4.667 feet, and 96 into 8 feet. Then we multiply those three numbers together, and you will see we get approximately the same number. Now because we aren't using as many decimal places here, this is 47.67 instead of 47.667, but we essentially get the same answer um, uh, to, the third, to the second decimal place. Um, rest of this is redundant. There we go. So that is um, two different ways to get to the same answer. Okay. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to solve for the rounded tank.